On November 16th, I'll be attending the Tesla Semi-Truck Unveil in Hawthorne, California at their design studio. There have been a lot of rumors about it so far, so here are the things that I'm most looking forward to. The first thing I want to find out is the range. Now, Reuters reported that it's somewhere between two and 300 miles, which is about 320 to 480 kilometers of range. This puts it in the mid to long haul range just barely, but I think it would be smarter for Tesla to stay on the shorter end of this because in that case, they won't have a sleeper cabin, which means that it'll actually reduce labor costs, which would be really great if they wanna capture, which is still a ginormous segment of the trucking industry. Speaking of labor costs, autopilot. Autopilot is gonna be a must for the Tesla Semi, and it seems like a no brainer, but it might be more difficult than you think. So first off, this will improve driver safety, which is great for all of us drivers, as well as for the truckers themselves and the companies using them to ship stuff. Now, it's not gonna be perfect, and even the Model S has its issues. So I am curious at what level they'll actually be able to do this. The next thing is how much power the semi will have. So famously, Elon said that it would tow a regular semi truck in a tug of war uphill. So we'll see. Now the test mule that people had the spy shot of did look like it had some power behind it. And I think that this could be really helpful in kind of proving how efficient and how useful these electric trucks are gonna be. Now, other manufacturers like Cummins and Daimler are also releasing these trucks. So I think we're gonna see a big shift towards electric trucking in the future. And hopefully Tesla can do what they did for the consumer space by making it seem like the best truck out there that happens to be electric instead of the other way around. Now the next thing is price. So the way this is gonna work, I believe, is that if they don't make a compelling argument on the economics of their truck, the styling and other tech isn't really gonna go anywhere. You know, in the consumer space, you can make a sexy, beautiful, amazing, fast car, and people will buy it regardless of the price. In the trucking industry, these are just tools that they use, right? So whether or not it looks cool kind of doesn't matter. It's more about how it performs and if it actually delivers. And so in order for that to really add up, a trucking company will only do it, I believe, if the numbers make sense. So whatever the pricing they come out with is really in my mind gonna be the biggest thing to watch for at the event. And the last thing I'm hoping to learn about at the event is what their plan is for full self-driving or full autonomy for the trucking industry. So even in a sedan, in the Model S, autopilot isn't perfect. Where I live in San Diego, we have some roads of mixed quality, and the result is it often doesn't work. It often fails. And in fact, I'm shooting a video about that uh, in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. But the point being, it's gonna be a ways out before a truck is gonna drive itself without a driver. Now, when they do, they'll be saving upwards of 25 plus percent of the overall cost, which would be tremendous. But I'm guessing that's at least five to seven years out at best. So it'd be curious what their plan is and what the time horizon is for them implementing it. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share with you what I'm looking forward to at this event in the coming week here. And I hope you stay tuned because I'm gonna have a couple more videos out and then a first impressions immediately after the event. And I'll probably do a little bit of vlogging while I'm there as well. So uh, thanks for joining me yet again. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Each week what we do is we look at the data and economics behind Tesla and how they're changing our world. So instead of just the flashy sex appeal of the cars, which is always fun, we try to get to the, the real meat of it and what's happening and how it's affecting us. So join us and by clicking subscribe down below or get on our email list at teslanomics.co. And lastly, remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. See you back here soon.